What is going on lads and welcome back to episode, I don't even know, I've literally not even numbered it in the title, it must be about 5, 6 of the WWE Universe mode, I have not done one of these in ages, I feel disappointed with myself but unfortunately we have, but we're getting right back into it and we are concentrating on, on the rivalry now, the format is, if you remember, three rivalries, one from Raw, one from no, four rivalries actually. One from Raw, one from NXT, one from SmackDown, and one from my own, well, little independent bloody promotion, Total Euro Tuesday, or weren't it called something along those lines? But bloody hell, see? Brock Lesnar versus Sheamus. Good God Almighty, what a fucking match this is going to be. Lesnar and Sheamus seem to be heading towards the rivalry. The newly crowned. WWE World Heavyweight Champion. What a way to start off an episode. The Beast Incarnate. Brock Lesnar. So where are we tonight? We are live in Chicago, Illinois. CM Punk. CM Punk. CM Punk. There'll be no CM Punk chance when this man enters the arena. The reigning, defending undisputed WWE World Heavyweight Champion Brock Lesnar can't do it as well as Paul Heyman I never can but Lesnar makes his way to the ring with evil intentions the Beast Incarnate looking to start off his title reign in dominant fashion against League of Nations member Sheamus, although technically at this point he's not in the League of Nations, but whatever, he still looks stupid. Lesnar, the beast. Incarnate, good God almighty. Look at Lesnar, such a fucking animal. I I'm going to do my best JBL impression. I, I don't know if these are exactly right, but former UFC World Heavyweight Champion Mackel. Bloody two-time All-American NCAA fucking world. Crazy man, Michael. This man is a destroyer, Michael. We're not going to act like this man lost to Kurt Angle and such things. I Japan ICW bloody IWP champion. Oh my god, look at Michael Cole, man. Look at Lesnar, man. He's just waiting for Sheamus like a motherfucker. Good god almighty. Ah, back when the king was on commentary. Good god. Oh, look, the lights have gone out. Is it Undertaker? No, it's Sheamus, sadly. Of course, we all knew it was going to be Sheamus. You look stupid. You know what, actually? I've just got to say one thing off topic. I'm surprised that that Titantron hasn't been banned uh, because of all the religious Im imagery. I'm not saying it should, but in today's oversensitive world... Yeah. Well, from Dublin, Ireland, Sheamus... The most forgettable WWE World Heavyweight Champion in arguably the last 10 years from Dublin, Ireland. Sheamus makes his way to the ring. Potatoes and all. I'm from Ireland too, so I can say that. Look at Sheamus. You look stupid. You look stupid. Ah, here comes Sheamus. I'm not going to lie. In all honesty, you have to be stupid to fight with Brock Lesnar. You really have to. Sheamus makes his way. Look at Lesnar. <laughs> Look at Lesnar, man. He's just waiting for the kill. And Sheamus is here, man. Look. Look, look, I can't. Look at Lesnar. Fucking bruising motherfucker. Right, who are we going to be? Do you know what? We'll, we'll be for this one. There's no other way. We have to be Lesnar. Don't we? I mean, yeah. Good God. Look, look, this bell's rang. The bell's rang. And Lesnar. <laughs> Boom. Suplex City. Oh, my God. Look at Lesnar. Dropping Sheamus. Already, oh no, Sheamus trying to fight back. Uh, you know what, Lesnar and Sheamus would actually be an interesting feud. If not for nothing else, both men are actually hard hitting. The build would probably be shit, but the matches themselves would actually be great. Sheamus, a former WWE World Heavyweight Champion in his own right. Really trying to actually take it to Lesnar. Look, he's, he's doing it quite well, Lesnar. I'd actually say Sheamus has had like the, the, the better start to the contest. Maybe Lesnar just testing. Oh shit, look at Lesnar. Lesnar just testing out the theory. And unlike Sheldon and Penny, there is no Big Bang Theory. Oh my god, check it out. Oh my, and look at Lesnar. Just destroy. Oh god, Lesnar destroying Sheamus. Good god almighty. Suplex C. Ah! 
Lesnar is destroying Sheamus. Good God Almighty, too. Good God, man. Fucking hell. This is like a live event match by Lesnar. They last about two minutes. Still. You know, in the real... Ah, look at, look at, Le look at Sheamus. Has the gripe to try and make Lesnar tap out to a bloody submission hold. Are you mad? Look at Lesnar powering out the beast. I believe Michael Hall said something the other day that maybe qualifies as stupid. Oh, God. Or oh, accurate. Uh, whatever way you look at it. But he said Lesnar does not get paid by the hour. That is correct. Suplex. Oh, my God. How many is that? Five. Is that five in total, including suplexity? Look at Sheamus. Desperately trying to fight out of anything. Being accompanied to the room by Paul Heyman. There's no Paul Heyman today. Oh, oh God. Lesnar about to drop him again. Oh, my God. He is Lesnar. Oh, how many is that? Brock Lesnar. Forget the signature. Lesnar's just going for it again. He's nailing it. Lesnar. Oh, my God. Again, tearing Sheamus to shreds. Lesnar. Oh, my God. Oh. Holy shit, man. Brock Lesnar. Brock Lesnar, ah, he's got him again. <laughs> Boom, oh my God, poor Sheamus. Sheamus is being obliterated. Lesnar again. Oh my God, boom, oh, how many times? How many times are you going to drop a man on his feet and look at Lesnar? Off his feet, rather. Lesnar, bloody hell, Brock Lesnar got Sheamus up. Lesnar, F5, good God almighty, Sheamus. Is down the WWE World Heavyweight Champion, dominant as always. Lesnar wins. Good God, man. This motherfucker's not paid by the hour. Lesnar is not paid. Holy shit. The Undertaker. Motherfucker, it's the dead man we haven't seen. We have not seen The Undertaker since his rivalry with Sheamus. Undertaker taunted championship champion Brock Lesnar, challenging the champion to settle their differences in a title match. Good God almighty. What a fucking rivalry that is. Jesus Christ, man. Undertaker wants the title. Undertaker wants Lesnar. It's going to happen again. And it looks like it's gonna it's gonna happen at the adequately named payback. Jesus Christ! Wow! Wow, Lesnar! Oh shit! Uh, man, who cares about main event? No one cares about main event. Man, get off my screen. Tyler Breeze and Kevin Owens. You know what? The NXT rivalry that ain't gonna happen anymore, man. The vault, no, we, you know, we're just going to skip past. Because Kevin Owens versus Tyler Breeze is not all good. So, we have to pick a rivalry from, you know, from SmackDown. God, they, they are all very good, are they? Do you know what? Sheamus versus Dolph Ziggler has been done so much. You know, we'll go with the Divas rivalry. I know it might not be, like, you know, it might not be the most uh, popular, like, you know, decision out there. But we'll go with the Divas rivalry. Why not? Summer Rae versus Nikki Bella. And do you know what? Absence makes the heart grow fonder and all that. Nikki Bella. I've just realised that. And they missed out my total Euro Tuesday. What happened to that? I'll have to investigate that after this episode. Don't tell me they deleted my shit because of the new downloadable content. But here she is. The Divas Champion. She has got a nice ass, but that fucking outfit kind of ruins it. There's Nikki Bella making her way to the ring. And I suppose this is going to be our SmackDown rivalry. I would have had the NXT rivalry if I would have known that fucking my total Euro Tuesday. I, do, does the DLC do that? Off topic. I know this isn't exactly professional, but the DLC fucking... Ah, oh, that's bullshit. The DLC fucking basically eradicates all your hard-earned shit. Yeah, because main event, main event is where my fucking... The show should have been. Oh, that is annoying as fuck. Anyway, fearless Nikki. Yeah, whatever, man. Nikki Bella. Is Nikki the fan favourite or what? What's the deal? She's still show. You know that that is so Nikki Bella s man. Still showing off during Summer Rae's entrance. Ah, do you know what? I don't know what they've done to her, man. But she was actually 
I'm not going to say, you know, she weren't the fucking best wrestler, like, she never fucking, like, was, but she was actually, a, you know, uh, when, I, when I say halfway decent, it isn't a sympathetic decent, it's not me saying, oh, she was decent, you know, please believe me, I'm a Summer Rae fan, no, she was actually halfway decent in NXT, like, uh, oh, I don't know, man. She had a, like a whole uh, one of Paige's first rivalries was with Summer Rae, and then like she was with Sasha and Charlotte as part of the BFF. Is it the BFF? Yeah, best. I don't know. Beautiful, fierce, and I don't know. They were called the BFFs anyway. It was a clever play on words. Then Summer went up to the main roster, and Charlotte fucking turned. Oh, I don't know, man. Anyway, this match is only going to go one way. The Divas Champion clocks Summer Rae with a clothesline. And look at Fearless Nikki. The Divas Revolution is not going to be starting on my game. The matches are only going to get a couple of minutes. If that, I would say. Look at the Divas Revolution, though. This is nuts. Brock Lesnar. <laughs> Nikki Bella. <laughs> the Brock Lesnar of the Divas Division. Is she a face or what? Is Brie Bella a face now? You can look, but you can't touch. Do 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 do. Oh, come on, Nikki! Good God Almighty, man! I was doing my best, Brie Bella impression. Nikki Bella taking down the arm. Look, she's well. At least she's more technical wrestling than John Cena. She's more of a technical wrestler than Cena. Summer able to get out of that. The Divas Champion being being a bit shocked. Summer Rae tapping into some of that NXT talent or, you know, rather. I can't believe Summer Rae, man. She, uh, I don't know. Not given that much of a chance, she probably deserves one. Dropkick by Nikki. And now the Divas champion. Really looking to... Oh! Summer Rae fight back. Look at that. It's summertime. Oh, my. Oh, oh, oh. Drop toe hold. Okay, it's not the most imaginative like offense out there, but we'll do it. Summer Rae now locking in a bloody well locking in the fucking armbar and such and Nikki Bella. Oh innovative offense, face buster off the bloody top rope rather. And now Nikki. Oh my god, man! Nikki just Oh, that was not good. Nikki Bella, second rope. Oh, that's why Divas don't take risks. Well, that's why a man should not take a risk anyway. Any fucking... I never see... You know what? There's not been a really, like, athletic, like, top rope moving fucking... Mutsal doing fucking... Oh, it's the rack attack. It's the rack attack. Nikki Bella. Oh, rack attack in Summer Rae. Summer Rae has done the rack attack from out of nowhere. Two and three, and that's it. Rack attack by Nikki Bella, and that is all she wrote. The Divas Champion. Fucking hell, dude. look at this, man. There weren't many highlights, but from out of nowhere, Summer Rae turns her back, and bang, Nikki just picks her up and drops her. Look, Nikki Bella knows it's over, man. It's a bloody. Free count and fearless Nikki wins again. Jesus Christ, should we do like a second week of Raw? Okay, so. Oh, Nikki is the face. Nikki Bella is the face. Summer Rae's the heel. Oh, I didn't know that. Well, how. No, I don't know. It happens, man. WWE Universe mode has a mind of its own. But four weeks away from payback, uh, you know, shit, shit's looking good. Shit's looking good. Uh, right, what have we got next? Well, last week on Raw, we discovered that The Undertaker actually wants Brock Lesnar's title. That one is sure as hell going to be interesting. Oh my god, look at these two. When, when, when are you ever going to see these two clash on Monday Night Raw? Like, when are you ever... After earning a tough win, Daniel Bryan demonstrated a considerable sportsmanship to opponent, commendable sportsmanship to opponent John Cena. Those two love each other. Paige beats Nikki Bella. Oh, come on, man. Seth Rollins losing to Adam Rose. Good God almighty. 
And Kevin Owens wins the triple threat. Right? That, you know that would never happen in real life. I, I hope that it will, but... You know, good God Almighty, both of these men, Lesnar and The Undertaker, about to undergo a one on one match. Good God Almighty. I'm not going to lie, man. Like, it should at least try and be a bit more realistic. You'll never see Lesnar and Undertaker going one on one at Raw. You'll never see anyone, actually, in any rivalry going one on one. But look at Lesnar. Lesnar with a beat down on The Undertaker. Huge clothesline. The Beast Incarnate. About this one -on -one matchup. Lesnar is... Oh my God, Lesnar's pissed. Lesnar's... Lesnar's pissed. When you get the ring, the Taking the dead man out. Oh my God, oh! And is this match... This match is... This match is broken down, man. Nothing's even happening. Suplex on the... Oh no, the dead man says no. The Undertaker says no. Look at Lesnar. Undertaker perhaps going for a tombstone, the Undertaker reverses. Oh, Lesnar dropping the Undertaker down like a motherfucker. And Lesnar, all of a sudden, really demonstrating like he is the younger and arguably quicker of the two. Lesnar, suplex again. And look at Lesnar again. Pure dominance. Lesnar into the barricade, oh my god. Undertaker. Into the barricade, Lesnar, we're at a count of nine. The Undertaker, we're at a count of nine. Oh my God, taken. Lesnar never had any means. This one's waved off, but Lesnar never had any fucking... Lesnar never had any designs. Look at Lesnar just taking down the dead man. Both of these men get cheered, but Lesnar never had any designs on a fucking match with The Undertaker, did he? Let's be honest, no. Lesnar purely had designs on fucking decimating The Undertaker, caught him off guard, and Brock Lesnar, although not a heel, certainly probably act like one there. Jesus Christ, man, but, you know, it could be seen, I don't want to necessarily say cowardly, but it could be seen as, like, Wednesday Night NXT. Oh my god, Paige and Sasha. Paige wins sadly. Oh, Nikki Bella, Bella. Look at that. Daniel Bryan and The Undertaker are both on Raw, are both on SmackDown rather. And Brock Lesnar is good God Almighty. But unfortunately, in this one, we have to stick to our rivalry events. So we'll see what happens. Uh, oh! Lesnar loses to Ryback. You know that's some Buki Undertaker interference there, but this one, this one's gonna be good. This one's gonna be all right, man. Nikki Bella versus Paige. Paige, arguably the number one contender for the Divas title at the moment. Although her fall from grace in real life could not be more like, well, more dramatic. Good God, how do you go from fucking? Is she is she ain't even gonna be on the WrestleMania card? She was on the Premier Divas fucking... Oh, no. oh Summer Rae nailing, Pay uh, nailing Nikki Bella from behind. And look at this, Paige, not one to refuse an invitation. Is, is the bell even rang? Look at Nikki Bella. Paige. Oh, the, 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 the attack is on. Oh, Paige, completely Russian leg sweeping. Taking fucking Nikki Bella out of the game. And look at Nikki Bella just getting stomped on Paige. Yeah! She's going mental. Nikki Bella getting stomped on again. Good God Almighty. Oh. Oh. Paige has not let Nikki go. Oh, there you go. Right hand by Nikki. Trying to fight back into it. But Paige. I don't want to say Paige is a heel right now, but... Paige not letting Nikki back into it and now just ripping at the fucking head. Ripping at the head and that, that surgically repaired neck by this point of Nikki Bella. The champion trying to fight. The champion trying to fight and she does. She fights out that time. Good God Almighty, Nikki Bella really trying to get back into this. Oh my God, man. Look at, look at this, man. This is not fucking fair. Drop keeps to the back of the neck and Paige really singling out now. And again. Oh. To the back of the neck and 
Yeah. Well, the back area in general. And Nicky Bella. Page has got Nicky in another submission. Page has got Nicky in another submission. And Page is going to make Nicky Bella tap. Nicky Bella desperately trying to fight out of it. Oh, look at Page. Page measuring Nicky. Oh, huge shot. And Page. Oh, close line, Nicky. The bloody reigning Divas champion. Oh, man, that's a sneak attack from Summer Ray. Oh, what the hell is this? Oh, coming out on the outside. Oh, Paige Turner on the outside, man. My God. Paige Turner on the outside. Oh, no, not a funny rampage. The rampage. Oh, my God. Look at that rampage on the outside. Oh, my God. The surgically repaired neck of Nikki Bella. Summer Ray has made a target. The weakened Divas champion. The weakened Divas champion. Oh, God. look at this. Oh my god, the weakened Divas champion just getting destroyed. Oh, huge kick to the back. And god, Nikki, Nikki more or less must be out, man. She's fighting on instinct alone. I can't believe this. Nikki Bella, Paige ripping in the flesh. The Divas champion tries to survive that knee in the back, pulling back on the neck also. And Paige takes what many fans might call a dirty victory. And defeats Nikki Bella. Look at Summer Ray. She knows Nikki Bella finally had time to recover. Summer Ray says, "Look at Nikki Bella, man. Nikki Bella, she she's ready, but she can't fight for shit." Anyway, guys, if you have enjoyed this episode of WWE Universe Mode and want more, please don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. The storyline is becoming somewhat interesting in it of itself. But I would say, like, I don't know, man. I don't like all the loading times. I don't like necessarily controlling the wrestlers all the time. So what do you guys think the new format should be? Anyway, guys, as always, rate, comment, and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching. This has been Take Luke. I'm out. Peace. Here's a sneak preview of next week's Raw card as well. Again, these guys want beef again. Undertaker and Brock Lesnar having beef again. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. I'm out. Peace.